started with the topic of market structures today. Yes, folks, market structures. We have done the concepts of costs very clearly. So before we even start with the concept of market structures, let us look at the calculation part of total revenue or marginal revenue or average revenue. Because for any business to decide on its profits, how do you decide the profit? It is total revenue minus the total cost, right? And that is what we are going to look at in this particular lecture today to start with. Uh, I'll give you two different scenarios, two case scenarios. Scenario one is in context of firm A, wherein this firm has got the price for its goods fixed. Let me just make it uh, P and Q because you're used to that. So here it is P and it is quantity. So let's say the price was $5 that was decided by the market forces and the firm is like a price taker. It just accepts the price as it is. And that is where it can sell as much as it can at a price of $5. So you've got in quantity one, two, three, four, and maybe I can put up more. Here it is, okay? I want you to calculate, everyone starts creating this table now. You know how to do the total revenue. You have done the total revenue method for price elasticity of demand, right? So calculate the total revenue. What is marginal? Marginal revenue is again the same concept, the additional, the change in the total revenue, right? So it is the change in the total revenue divided by the change in the quantity, pretty much like the you know, marginal cost, that was the change in the total cost divided by the change in the quantity. So calculate these and maybe let's see if you can calculate the average revenue. That's scenario one for firm A. And another one we are taking up is firm B. Yeah, so in this case, this particular firm has no option but to abide by the law of demand. And that means each time it has to sell more, it has no option but to reduce the price. So let us take it six, five, four, three, two, one. And again, the quantities, you can see that the price is going down, definitely quantity sold could be more. So there you go. And calculate the same things for us here. Very quickly, you've gone by the clock, two minutes max. It's a very, very simple table. You know it, right? So here we are with the marginal revenue. Let's see if you can calculate the average revenue too. Everyone does it and I'll keep going around and looking at you. In the meanwhile, I'll stop here. Not yet. It's perfect. Yes, thank you. So just please uh, start working on this table very quickly. You should not take more than two minutes. In fact, is it that hard? What's the formula for total revenue? Rabin, how do I calculate pro total revenue? P into Q. So what is it? The table of five in this case, right? Five ones are... And then, okay, and then, and 25. It's that simple, isn't it? So what about the marginal revenue? How do we figure out the marginal revenue? Marginal revenue, come on. Total, total yes, the change in total revenue. What's the change in total revenue? Sorry, yeah, what's the to change in total five. revenue? Five. And what's the change in quantity? One. One. So what do we do here? Five. five. Okay, next. Five, is it? You can see it because each time the change in quantity is one. So there you go. Total revenue is changing at this again and again. It's the same story being repeated. So this is your marginal revenue, right? Marginal revenue, that is the additional revenue. It's the change in the total revenue. Yep. Looking at the average revenue, what is average revenue? Let's look at the formula first. What is it? Total revenue divided by quantity. That's your average revenue. So do you think you really need to calculate this? 
Guljant, why? Why did he say five, five, five very quickly? Price is same. Price is same. And in simple words, if you really elaborate on this equation, total revenue was price times quantity divided by quantity, right? And therefore, quantity is getting cancelled. In other words, ever, ever you are asked to calculate the average revenue, normally you don't get calculation questions in the exams, but in case, so you just write down price is nothing but the average revenue. So never ever you need to spend any extra time in calculation of the average revenue. Is that clear to everyone? So that is your average revenue. We have got this here. And in the other table now, let's look at what, how it changes when the price has to be reduced each time to sell more. Yep. So what's the total revenue? Come on. Six. Six. I need to hear loudly so that everyone else can hear on this video too. Can we hear it? Yeah. The next one? Ten. 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 And then? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. And I just rely on you. You give me wrong numbers, I write wrong numbers. Come on. Yes. Next? Okay. And then uh, it is ten. And then it is? Six. Six. Now again, reminding you a concept of elasticity. Yeah. Can you tell me what is the price elasticity of demand until this point? From output one to three. When the price is going down and revenue is increasing, is the price elastic or inelastic? Elastic. Elastic, right? Elastic. It is elastic. What is it at 12 between this when the revenue is not changing? Unit elastic. Unit elastic. And when the price is going down as well as the revenue is going down, it is inelastic. inelastic. So do you get this? You have very clearly how the you know, revenue is actually changing in context of the price here. And that is helping you to asset in elasticity too. Now in this one, can uh, I need the numbers on marginal revenue. And let's see how correctly you give it to me. Yeah, give me the marginal revenue now. So of course, in the first one, it's as good as zero to one. So you can write six. down six, not a drama. Next, four, four, four two, two zero, 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 minus two. Minus two. Minus two. Minus two. That's good. Someone gave the right number straight on very clearly because it is 10 minus 12. So it is negative. And then? Minus four. Minus, minus four. four. Yep. So what is happening to the marginal revenue in this context? You can see it. When the demand was elastic, the revenue was falling but was still not reaching negative, right? But when the, uh, you know, when the elasticity is less than one here, the marginal revenue is negative. So you can see where is the total revenue maximum? When the marginal revenue is, cannot go any further. Now drawing diagrams. You have got the numbers to have a basic idea. but. You can very well apply it in context of, you know, the concept here. So if I say in, in context of our form A, where the price was kind of given, price has not changed at all. The firm is a price taker. Yep. In this situation, what is the total revenue going to be like? Throughout it is increasing, right? So it goes, this is your total revenue line in this context of firm A. And what is your average revenue and marginal revenue line going to be like? It is going to be constant. And which curve does it remind you of? What is it? Perfectly elastic. What else does it remind you of? Which is the other concept it reminds you of? Which cost? Which cost? Yes, the total fixed cost curve. So, you see, many diagrams are so much alike when it comes to economics. It's just the variables change. In other words, as we say, you know, there are sequels, movies after movies, the same things, the characters are changing. That's it. So now you write down here the fixed cost, right? And this is your cost. Oh, no, I don't need to write cost. Look at this. While telling you I'm writing the same things. Here it is not total because we're talking about the revenues here. So it is, you have the marginal revenue, and this is also the average revenue. Is that clear to everyone? How does this scenario change in the firm two? In context of firm two, it is changing. Here you can see the total revenue line. I'm drawing it up. I hope it is legible to everyone. The total revenue to begin with 
increases, reaches its maximum and goes down. Which diagram is it reminding you of? Yes, you did it. The total product curve was also pretty much like that. So if you can recollect and remind yourselves of the commonality of the concepts in terms of the diagrams or the shapes, right? It would be easier for you to remember the diagram. So this is again revenue and here it is quantity and you can see it. What do you think is the elasticity here? More than one as the revenue is going up with the fall in price, right? Here elasticity is equal to one and here the elasticity is less than one. Do you get this? So typically you can see that how the total revenue curve actually increases but after a certain point it starts falling if the price has to be reduced each time. In other words, if a firm is facing a downward sloping demand curve, yeah, each time a firm has to sell more, it is actually losing on its previous units in terms of its revenue. It's like it could have sold the first unit for six, but to sell two, it is selling it for five. So it did lose one dollar on the previous one. You understand this? And this is why the marginal revenue is here less than the average revenue which is nothing but the price. So every revenue was five, but marginal revenue was four. Get it? So how do we draw this? This is the shape you can think of. There it was like this, but here it is marginal revenue. It is below the average revenue. And we have done all this earlier in context of the fact that how marginal is the one that actually decides the totals and totals more or less affect the averages. So marginals have a very, very important role to play. Is that clear? And here, when the marginal was zero, remember, I had to put it up like this, the revenue, the total revenue would be maximum. And beyond that, it is likely to fall. Is everyone clear with the concepts of the revenue right now? Because when we do the market structures, please get it right. In context of economics, market structures are divided based on the level of competition, okay? And interestingly, the cost curves, the slopes, the shape of the cost curves when you draw the diagrams is pretty much the same across the market structures. What is different is the revenue lines or the diagrams, okay? The concepts of revenue. This particular market structure, this firm A belongs to a market structure where there is a lot of competition. And the firm lands up being a price taker. This is where there is relatively lesser competition. And what factors affect the competition? We will discuss these in our next video because I just want to have short clips being recorded as I'm going live today. Okay. Thank you.